Don McGahn will no longer be the White House counsel. He will be stepping down and this is something that we expected. Trump was very clear in stating that McGahn would step down following the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh into the Supreme Court. And for the moment being, he will be replaced by a man named Emmett Flood. Attorney Emmett Flood took over on Thursday, meaning today, as White House counsel replacing Don McGahn until his full-time successor joins the administration. So who will his full-time successor be? Pat Cipollone. So Flood, who joined the White House in May, has served as a member of the president's legal team in the Russia investigation. I think that's relevant. He also helped represent then President Bill Clinton in his impeachment proceedings and served in the White House Counsel's Office for George Bush. So let's note the relevant part of this Don McGahn story. He's a White House Counsel and he shepherded Kavanaugh and Gorsuch through so conservatives like him. We did a story a while back where, and this is what led to Don McGahn leaving, where we found out that McGahn, I think it was the New York Times who broke the story initially, uh, went and testified for 30 hours in front of Robert Mueller. He apparently thought that Donald Trump was throwing him under a bus, and so he gave Mueller whatever information he thought he needed to give to protect himself. Oops. It turns out uh, he didn't realize Donald Trump was not throwing him under the bus, that he, he just couldn't comprehend that Donald Trump had no strategy at all. And, and then realized afterwards, oh no. I didn't realize he's so dumb, he didn't have a strategy. He told me to go testify. I thought he was doing it out of like, oh, but if I do this and then he'll move do that. No, he just didn't know that I have all this information. He could have blocked my testifying, but he didn't. No, no, and like, okay, so the story though, when you get into the like nitty gritty of it. So Trump has his personal lawyers and then there's the White House counsel. And their communication was so terrible that it led to McGahn testifying for 30 hours. Because remember, his Trump's personal lawyers actually thought he was innocent. And so they were <laughs> they were saying, you should be transparent. Yeah, McGahn, go, go, go talk to Mueller. What do we have to hide? We don't have anything to and hide. And Trump, and another mistake he made is he thought the White House counsel is his lawyer. Yes. He's not, he's a government lawyer for the White House. So he thought, oh, he won't say anything. So anyway. He was gonna get fired because of that, but they wanted to wait till after Kavanaugh was over. But let's note that having your White House counsel leave two and a half weeks before an election is insane. It would be the largest scandal in any other administration. We're so used to Trump scandals, this is like wow. way low on the list, right? But if Obama's White House counsel left, counsel left in a panic because he testified against Obama and uh, Etc. Two weeks before an election, people would be like, "Oh my God! It's the how White House is in disarray, madness in the White House." We're just used to the madness, and this is another piece of it. Normally, this is unprecedented. Yeah. And one last part: Robert Mueller likely to release his findings after the elections. Just like I told you, it's a perfect time to do it. This is what I thought before we found out that news because the elections are over, it's not political. The Democrats likely will win, but they haven't taken over yet in the lame duck session, the Republicans are still in charge. He says that's the most non-political time to release it. And the other thing is Don McGahn wants to get the hell out of Dodge before Mueller releases those findings. Oh. Okay, because he knows what he told Mueller. Oh, now it all comes together. Yes. I didn't know why it was such a big scandal. I'm like, I don't know, am I just desensitized at the moment? Yeah, no, Trump wants him to leave because he feels betrayed. And McGahn wants to leave before people start getting arrested. Dang. <laughs> okay, tick, 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 tick. Two easy ways to follow Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.